the state of emergency imposed in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo has come under scrutiny and debate. It comes as more than 2,500 civilians have reportedly been killed in two eastern provinces and the siege nearly double the number killed a year earlier. Prime Minister Jean Michael Samalukonde, in an interview on Tuesday, said the state of siege and the army's operations have made it possible to reduce the area of action of the negative forces. Lukonde told the media on Tuesday that the authorities are considering a reclassification of the zone where the measure will be maintained given that the abuses are taking place in specific areas. Under his regime, the army has multiplied its offensives against the strongholds of armed groups. Some 600 clashes recorded between May 2021 and April 2022, after some 400 between April 2020 and May 2021, according to KST statistics. At the end of November, the Ugandan army entered the DRC to participate in the hunt for the ADF, presented by the Islamic State Organization as its branch in Central Africa, accused of massacres in the DRC since the 1990s and of recent jihadist attacks on Ugandan soil. In addition to the Beni region, their usual area of exactions, the ADF have massacred civilians in the territories of Jugu and Irumu in Ituri. Between April 2020 and May 2021, 1,374 civilians were killed in attacks attributed mainly to the armed groups, allied democratic forces and cooperative for the development of Congo in North Chivu and Ituri.